Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today I'm going to show you how to share your files across multiple mobile devices using Apple's AirDrop wireless technology. Now this is built in to your iPhone and iPad and it's also available on your desktop or laptop computer. Now to get this working you don't really have to do much at all other than to ensure that your Bluetooth setting is set to on. So let's go ahead and have a look at how to do that. There's two ways to do it. You can go into your settings and go into Bluetooth and just make sure that it's in the on position. And the other way, which is possibly the most simple, is to simply swipe up from the bottom of the screen and in the top panel, you'll see a number of icons and the third one along is your Bluetooth icon. If that's highlighted as white, then your Bluetooth setting is already on. If it's not, you just tap it to activate Bluetooth. Once you've done that, you're now ready to initiate an AirDrop file share. I'm going to demonstrate using an iPhone 6S Plus and the iPad Air, but this could work just as easily with any iPhone or iPad running iOS 7 or later. So let's start with the iPhone first. I'm going to slide up the control panel from the bottom of the screen to access the AirDrop setting, which is in the third row. I'll tap the AirDrop icon and select everyone. This means I'll be able to share files with anyone on an iOS device or Mac desktop within a few meters range. If in a public space, it may be better to select contacts only, which restricts those who can share files with you to the people who are in your contact list. Do the same on the other device and that will be my iPad in this case, and now you're ready to share. Let's start with a photo I've taken on the iPhone 6S Plus. To access it, I'll go into my Photos app, and then the camera roll. I'll locate the photo I want to share, and then tap the Share icon, which is located on the bottom left of the screen. Now, because I had enabled AirDrop on the iPad in the previous step, you'll see that my iPad appears in the AirDrop area as an option, and I can tap it to start sharing. Within a matter of seconds, the photo is copied over from the iPhone directly onto the iPad. Now you can also share multiple files at once by scrolling through the images at the top of the screen whilst in the select mode and ticking multiple items. Then once again, tap on the iPad and now they'll be shared in one session. This will work with videos too. Another thing that you might find useful to AirDrop is web page addresses. To share a web page URL to another device, simply tap on the share icon at the base of the screen and tap on the device you wish to share it to. The web page will then open up automatically on that device. You can also share from a computer to a mobile device and vice versa. To access AirDrop on OS X, simply double click on your hard drive and on the left hand column, you'll see the AirDrop option appear. Click on this and make sure that the option under the AirDrop icon is set to everyone or contacts only if you prefer. Then all available devices will appear in the AirDrop window and you can simply drag a file to that device icon to send it across. Or simply click accept when a file is being shared from the mobile device over to your computer and it will appear in the downloads folder. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel and you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. Also, if you've got any questions about how to use the iPhone, any technical questions or anything else that I'm presenting on this channel, feel free to engage with me on social media. All of my social media profiles are in the About Us page on this YouTube channel and also I'll be leaving a uh, description to my channels in the comments box below and on screen at the end of the video. Once again, thanks for watching, until next time.